Hi everyone, Christopher Odd here, and uh, if you're watching this as a follow-up to my uh, Half-Life playthrough, don't worry, I'm not done the Half-Life playthrough, uh, but I did find this little gem of a game, and I'm going to do actually a walkthrough uh, of this game. It's called Unmechanical. I actually just discovered it on Steam, and uh, instantly I could tell that it was the type of game that I'd be into. It's very, very similar to um, Machinarium, if you've ever played that. Or limbo, uh, it's like a it's like a puzzle game, right? And the great thing about it is not so much uh, that it's a super complex game or that it's uh, this graphically super advanced game, uh, but what it is, it's just like it's an awesome game. There's really cool visuals. It, the sound is absolutely amazing, and I just I just love the game. Um, it's relatively new, so I thought this might be a good opportunity for people that are playing this game. Uh, if they're stuck anywhere, I can probably help them out, um, and I'm just having a great time with it. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and, and if you do like this game, uh, based on what you see here, I definitely recommend buying it. It's such a good game, I'm having such a good time with it. So, uh, we're gonna get started here, and I will, uh, let you watch the intro video, and then I'll kind of describe how to get through the first level. Here we go. Okay, and here we are in uh, the game world. That's all that we know so far is that little intro video. It's not a lot, but it's kind of cool because it's a little bit of a mystery. Um, we see this little robot dude with his friends, you know, in the park, and all of a sudden he gets sucked down this pipe, and uh, he's stuck in these little caves. So there's uh, the the movement mechanics are very simple. I have my Xbox controller plugged into my PC, and uh, it's basically you just you can move uh, with with the little uh, thumbstick or you can use your WASD keys on your keyboard and uh, you only have one function you move and you use your little suck beam I don't know what it's called but I'm calling it a suck beam uh, I'm hitting a but pretty much any button on the controller does that uh, also uh, I think it's spacebar yeah spacebar on the keyboard there's some other buttons that do it as well uh, if you hit F1 like it says to then it's gonna give you a little tip so it's saying, okay, go and suck up some rocks. Okay, that's cool. Um, if you ever get stuck in the game, I do believe you can hit F1 and it'll give you little tips. So there you go. I'm sucking up this rock. Now, I'm going to kind of progress through the level here. Uh, as you can see, you're in these caves. You don't really know what's going on. But uh, I'm assuming you don't want to be here because you, you kind of came in here uh, not on your own free will little bit of a barrier here you can just bust through it or move some rocks however you want to do that it's not a big deal pretty soon we're gonna to get to some of the puzzle elements uh, right now it's basically just teaching you okay so can't go down there it's blocked 
it's basically just teaching you the mechanics um, and that kind of thing. Here's a switch. Cool. We're going to hit the switch and it's going to open this door for us. It's really cool. Uh, I do recommend if you guys are playing this game, you set the vibe. And what I mean by set the vibe is turn off your lights, put on some good headphones, just get a drink or some water, some juice, whatever, some sun kiss, some fruitopia, some Sprite, uh, Pepsi, whatever your drink is, just just grab something. I've got water, so I'm super adventurous. And oh look, there's a button. And if I hit it, it opens that door. That's cool. But if I leave, the door closes. So what do you think we got to do? We got to grab this rock and we got to put it over there. Okay. So there we go. That's our first puzzle. Don't worry, it gets it gets a little bit more complex. I promise. Uh, but yeah, this game is more about the experience. Okay, you see the little things flying through that tube? Just keep that in mind. This game is more about the experience than anything. Uh, same with like Limbo, Machinarium. I loved those games. I absolutely love those games. And anything like this is just a super good time. There's also a game on the Vita. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's it's another like little puzzle thing. It's in black and white. It's also really, really good. So, kind of making our way through this area. These are little pistons that you can pull up. And if you see that red ball float across the screen there, I'll do that again, just watch up top. That ball floats across, so you're thinking, okay, I don't really know what that's doing. So, oh look, another button. Great, let's move these rocks out of the way so we can go hit that button. Oops. I'm just kind of walking you through my thought process of when I played it for the first time. So now I'm now I thought to myself, well, I'm just gonna drop this rock down here and it'll fit between. But that would be stupid. Because why wouldn't have those rocks fit? But that's what I did. So then I thought, okay, that little red ball probably would fit. That red ball that shot across the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring a rock up here to block it. And if I move this piston, there we go, see? Now I'm gonna pick pick up this ball. I'm gonna drop this on that little button, okay? That's gonna fit. And what do you know, it's gonna open this next door. So, this game does a really good job of teaching you the mechanics that you need as you're going. This little beam here, uh, this won't let any like foreign objects pass through it. So, I just wanna show you as an example uh, what, it, what I'm talking about. So if I were to grab a rock here, Let's say for whatever reason I wanted to just carry this rock along with me because I'm like lonely and I need something to hang out with. You're going to see it won't let me take it down there. So it's going to block it. Which is kind of cool. I like that. Now, this game, uh, you see four different colors. Uh, it's a game of basically Simon Says. If you don't know what Simon Says is, uh, I don't know what kind of childhood you have. <laughs> or had. But uh, basically what's going to happen, I'm going to pull this piston. It's going to light up and make some noises. And uh, I'm going to try to copy that by pulling these pistons up here near those colors. So let's pull the first one. Red. Blue. Green. Okay. Pretty easy so far. Red. Whoops. Blue. Green. Okay. So it lit up one of the things at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, one of the fluorescent bulbs. So now I'm going to do it again because it looks like we got to do it three times. Green, yellow, blue, blue, okay? And I have a really terrible memory, so I have to say these things out loud. Oh, see, and now I'm already confused. <laughs> Is it blue, blue? There we go. Okay, and one more time. Blue, red, blue, green, green. Blue, red, blue, green, green. Blue, red, blue. I don't know if you guys have a better memory than me, probably. <laughs> okay, now you'll see all the things light up, and what do you know, we can go through the door. So, this part, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a wall there that you can't pass. So, I'm just going to pull the piston. And all of a sudden, we get this little orb, and I don't know what it's called, but... This is like my little treasure. I'm this robot, I'm thinking, okay, well, this just gave me a ball of light. I better bring that with me. That's what I thought anyways. So 
So, I'm going to leave it right here for now. You're going to go up here and you're going to say, okay, well, let's go exploring. But if I go through there, I'm going to lose that ball. So I don't really want to do that. Something must happen with that ball. And if you look here, you're going to see this, this blue disc. And I'm going to explain what that blue disc is in a little second here. I'm going to put this ball inside. And you'll see how that blue disc is sliding out from the hole there. Whoa. So it just kind of sucked the ball in and then it closed and now it's a red disc. That means that it's locked and nothing can pass through there. If you look down into the hole now, you'll see that. So now I'm going to carry on my adventure. Not too sure what that just did for me, but I'm going to go on anyways. Okay. Oh, I run into the, the rocks a lot and I don't know if, I don't think I can get damage. Now this part, I saw these little things down here and I'm like, okay, well I got to obviously do something with those. Oh, see that guy? Yeah, we're not sure exactly what he's up to yet. We don't know who that guy is, but we know that we're not alone. So now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to drop these little cubes on here, because this one's here. But just pay attention to the, the discs that are above me. That blue one up top, it's open. There's three locked red ones. And if you look above at the top right there, you'll see that the white orb. Uh, that's the orb that we dropped in from above. So I assume we have to open all these things. And if I push down, I can see, okay, that one's going to open there. That one's going to open the fourth one. This one's going to close that one, so I don't know if I want to do that. And this one is going to open that third one. So, I'm assuming I want them all to be open. So, I got to put these little blocks on there. <clears throat> and again, I'm just walking you through my thought process from when I first did this level. Uh, because I, I'm assuming a lot of people are thinking the same thing. Now that's great and everything, but if you look at it, I'm just I'm just opening these, but I can't actually force them all open to get that that ball down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pick up this um, beam. And you move a little bit slower because it's a heavier object, uh, but that makes sense, right? This guy doesn't look super strong or anything. And what you're going to do is you're going to place this gently on top of all three. And you're going to see... There we go. It's going to let the ball out. Okay. So let's grab our ball. <laughs> I didn't say that plural. Uh, we're going to grab the ball and we're going to take it over here. Now, you're going to see in the background there that there's this opening. And there's these three little things that can twist and turn and whatever. Uh, and you want to obviously fit those to, to make that same shape. So I just happen to know after playing this a few times that each one of these does a different thing. It moves each um, uh, part a certain number of times. But the simplest way to do it is pull up once on the second one, up once on the second piston again, and that's it. So the first time I did that, it took me a long time to figure out uh, what was the right way, but that's, that's the right way to do it. Now that's going to open up this door over here. Now first thing I tried to do, I was like, I'm just going to drop this ball in here. It looks like something from Transformers. Looks like I should drop the ball in there, but it didn't do anything. So I carried it with me and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Look, the blue disc is open. Let's put this in there. And what do you know? That happens to be the end of the very first level. So it's going to launch me through to the next one. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Here we go. Success. So, I do believe you're going to get a, an achievement for every level as well. Uh, that's really cool. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's part one or level number one of the uh, unmechanical walkthrough. This game is really fantastic. Uh, I'm going to be uploading this video along with my Half-Life videos because it's such a great game. I love these little indie games and they definitely deserve more attention. So, thanks for checking it out.